Welcome to another parts video. In this video we're going to take a look at using a script that I call Mech Layer Tools. I'll be leaving a link down below where you can download a copy of uh, the script if you'd like. Let's take a look at what we can do with the script. I'm going to select a button that I have on my uh, menu bar. I've customized my menu bar. Um, we'll look at maybe customizing menu bars in another video. Right now they're just going to take a look at the script. Anyway, if you've downloaded the script, you can run it. And um, some of the things you can do with the script is you can hide the unused mech layers, you can remove a mech layer pair, you can set all, reset all mech layers, and you can import and export the mech layers. Um, exporting the mech layers might be a good start um, if if you're working on a design and you're thinking you might want to go back to these same layers so we could just select export and you might want to save a copy of that somewhere um, a good place to save it would be in the project that you're working on in my case I'm just going to save a copy on the desktop for now just because I know where it's at Okay, one of the most valuable uses for this script is to be able to undo a mechanical uh, layer pairing. For example, in Altium, if we wanted to um, change this component outline and layer uh, and courtyard pair, you can see that if we right click on it and we try to um, delete it, that we'll be told that we can't delete it because um, the top, the top outline contains component primitives and cannot be removed. Well, it's not that I want to remove any objects on these layers right now, but I want to break the mechanical layer pair and then I'm going to swap these layers around. Well, one way we can do that using the script is to um, we can remove a, me a mech layer pair and b before we select that, what we do is select one of the layers, like here's um, say courtyards on mech layer 15. If I select that layer and then in the drop down menu remove the layer pair hit OK and you should see that the, the layer pair has been broken apart here. It's been removed. Now it, it didn't change the name but it did just move it down below um, and we, even though layer 15 was paired with layer 16, I didn't have any primitives on the bottom side. So uh, when, all, when we broke the pair, Altium removed it. Also, if we wanted to completely reset all the layer usage, we could just reset all that. And what that will do is send all the naming conventions back to the default, which is just mech1. And uh, for now, I've got a limit on that of 64. We could go all the way out to 1024, but um, I've chosen a limit of 64 because I don't really go up much higher in layer count than about 16, usually myself. Some people go out as maybe as high as 30, but and then we can also quickly hide the unused layers. Try that again. We're going to do a reset, and let's try to hide those layers over here. We're going to go to these mech layers, and we're going to um, only show the used on. Only show used on. And notice that for whatever reason, I don't know if that's a bug in Altium, but I'm not using anything on those. And anyway, that's one of the reasons I also have in this script is to be able to hide the unused layers. Okay, but anyway, most importantly, um, I'm going to go ahead and import. Okay, notice that. Um, I hit OK. And notice our mech layer pairs are back. Well, what I did was I saved a copy of the exported mech layers out to the same location as the board. Um, and that means that I can do it on a project by project level. For example, let's look into the script itself for a moment. See what you can do to customize it if you want to make some changes. Okay. 
So for example, when I did the import, if you scroll down into the script and start looking for the exporting and importing, you'll see that we have some options here for import. Um, if you wanted to, you could unhighlight this first line right here where it says run process. Um, but what I did was I just pulled the file directly in for a direct import right here. But if we didn't want to do that for some reason, we could hide that. Save it. And now if we do an import, we're going to get taken through the file explorer to a location to look for that file. And you may remember I just saved one on the desktop a moment ago. So there it is, um, mech stack up. And we just imported it. Okay. Anyway, there's an option there in the script. Um, you can either be prompted or not be prompted. It's your choice. One of the things I just kind of like that fast load where I uh, saved it to the same project directory where the board was because you can see here the file path was extracted, board file name. So that was uh, looking for this mech layers file in the same uh, folder where this um, board would be found. Anyway, that's all really all there is to um, using the script. Again, I'll leave a download link where you can download it over at the parts. And another nice feature about the script is that anytime you need some help, you can just click on the, the help link right here. And that'll take you straight away to the web page where you can find the latest help online and the, a link to download the latest version of the script. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the script.